thanks so much for being with us. What exactly is happening right now on the streets of Baghdad? And is it only about supporting Muqtad al-Sadr, or is it very much connected to the general anti-corruption protests Iraq has seen over the last few years now? Uh, no, it's, uh, there is a, a movement, uh, a very clear movement by uh, uh, his eminence, Muqtad al-Sadr, and his supporters to show their, their, ability, their capability of uh, uh, controlling the, the political life in Baghdad as they uh, declare their intention that they will nominate uh, one of their leaders for uh, next Iraq's uh, position for next Iraq's prime minister. So they try, it's an it's a exercise of uh, uh, their strength and exercise to tell the others, other political parties, that uh, we are here and we are strong and we can bring tens of thousands of people to the streets if we wish to, and we will use them on the election day. Uh, naturally, there are no uh, clear studies and consensus here in Iraq to show uh, the type of support and type of, uh, uh, or to uh, guess what the next election will bring. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, the, uh, the, the new election law uh, serve the Sadrists very well and was designed uh, to help them achieve a better uh, numbers than they had in the past. Okay. Uh, but as you know, the, the, uh, the political scene is led by many factors, so we really have to wait and see how it goes. It's nothing to do with corruption, because uh, I suppose they are also uh, uh, accused of having a corrupt politicians. Okay. Uh, you say there are really no clear studies, but then if you could help us understand how much you think a political force, Muqtad al-Sadr, could be and actually is right now, and I mean, is, is any of it really good for Iraq? Uh, well, good or bad, that is something uh, debatable, uh, because uh, the type of uh, Islamic uh, uh, beliefs they have and their past experience uh, will definitely indicate that they do not represent everybody in Iraq and uh, definitely there will be people who are not happy okay. with them taking power or taking absolute power. Okay. Uh, so it, it, it is hard to, to guess that. It's hard to um, gauge. Yeah. I understand. Uh, tell me though quickly, I need to ask you about this. I mean, as far as the U.S. Iraq relationship is concerned. I mean, the United States is not a fan of Muqtada al-Sadr. And now there are these reports that an ex-Iran-backed paramilitary member under U.S. sanctions is receiving training uh, to become an Iraqi military officer. Are you concerned about the relationship now between Iraq and the United States? Uh, no, we're not concerned. Actually, we do think it is, po it is positive to have a better relationship with the United States. But the people are worried now with the, the, uh, the government performance in, on the economic field and failing to provide uh, salaries for the employees and going a certain uh, path that people think that it is a, a ploy or a conspiracy uh, to re or to establish relationship with the Israelis. So there is a, 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 a people's revolt against the idea of uh, being uh, pushed into uh, a new treaty with the, with the Israelis. And uh, so, the, 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 for example, Muqtada Saad with his uh, 55 members in parliament now, uh, basically people think that they are part of this deal, this new American approach and the uh, uh, improvement of relationship between Iraq and the United States, where in the past, of course, the Sadrists were the, the vanguard of fighting the, uh, the Americans here in Iraq. Right, okay. Um, Salam Mutalibi, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from Baghdad.